Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of our Iron Fish Morning Show. I'm Karina Concha Georges, and here to chat a bit about smoke alarm legislation and compliance is Smoke Alarm Solutions Southern Man uh, Territory Manager, Bonnie Hutchison. Welcome, Bonnie. Hope you're, hope you're well. Hi, Karina. I am. Thank you for having me. So for those that may not be familiar with Smoke Alarm Solutions, uh, can you briefly explain who they are, the work they do, and what their affiliation is with Ironfish? Yeah, sure, absolutely. So Smoke Alarm Solutions is an Australian company that services smoke alarms and rental properties. Um, and we ensure that the legislation is correctly applied. Um, so our business was established in 2007 and we've grown to be one of the largest smoke alarm service providers in the country. Uh, all of our staff are employees, really important, um, mm -hmm. including qualified technicians, electricians, uh, Australian-based support teams, support centre, yep. and also our local territory staff. So that's people like me. Uh, I live in Melbourne and I work with our Melbourne agents to assist them with understanding the rules that apply to smoke alarms and then offer solutions within the state as well around that legislation. Um, we have had an ongoing relationship with Iron Fish now since uh, early 2017 mm -hmm. and we've worked with you to accommodate your growing rent roll to ensure that all properties are covered under the duty of care that the Victorian legislation requires. Um, our relationship is really important to our company but um, also to myself personally as I've come yeah. to know um, a lot of the individuals in your team. So I think I have a greater understanding as to what your specific agency needs are. And I feel like that's really important to ensure both a good working relationship, just to keep working within the overall company setup, but also to make sure that the daily process of engaging with our company is a smooth one. So I guess it's a rolling discussion and it's always a pleasure to work with the Ironfish team to implement additional elements to your account and just to make sure that everything is managed as effectively as is required. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. So just regarding um, new Victorian legislation surrounding smoke alarms, um, I'm aware they're due to come into effect on July 1st of this year. Um, what changes can we expect? So you're quite right. The new reforms uh, to the RTA are, are here in Victoria are due to come into effect on January the 1st, uh, 2021. They were going to be in July, but due to the COVID changes, they've actually been pushed back for six months. Um, <laughs> Well, there's a number of changes across a lot of areas. There's three reforms in particular that will affect the servicing of, of smoke alarms from this date. Um, and I don't claim to know any others. <laughs> so <laughs> reforms 51, 53 yep. and 54 highlight the changes that will impact smoke alarm servicing. Um, the details around this introduce, uh, first and foremost, a formal time frame. So smoke alarms must be tested and inspected every 12 months from mm -hmm. January 1st, 2021. It's something that we in smoke alarms have been doing as a best practice. Um, we started in Queensland, so we've been doing that for many years up here. This legislation is new to Victoria, but not new to us as a company. Mm -hmm. So we've already been doing that, but it's now going to be legislative. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other thing is that all alarms will need to be as per the current legislation now, which is to have the correct type of alarms um, and in the correct locations. But from Jan 2021, um, during these 12 monthly inspections, the testing will now need to be conducted by someone, and I'll quote, suitably qualified is the term that we're using. Right. So that's where we come in. Um, mm -hmm. As service providers, we can take care of this for agents and their landlords. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing that's mentioned in the reforms is that smoke alarms will be officially listed under the urgent items requiring attendance. Um, so should an alarm start beeping or sounding, it will need uh, urgent attendance. So yeah. one of the good things is our annual cover package offers a 24-7 attendances um, coverage in the case of sounding alarms. We don't charge extra for it, so it eliminates expensive electrician costs for this kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but just while I'm thinking about the last point of the reforms is that all new leases, I believe, will require a condition report. Okay. Um, this is outside the three reforms forms that will impact us directly and it's going to impact a few things. Mm -hmm. um, that condition report needs to be given to every new tenant at the beginning of a lease. 
um, the report needs to include copies of any legislative certification. So um, smoke alarm cert certificates will need to be included. Yep. And we issue a compliance certificate after each and every attendance to all of our enrolled properties. Um, and these are available at all times to our agencies on their account. Yes. So smoke alarm solutions have, like I said, been through this process of amending reforms in other states. So we not only already accommodate this, but we know how to best assist our agents as they roll this out. And we work with them how to engage landlords about what changes are pending, provide education to them, provide marketing, what to yeah. expect, but also offer the solutions to make that transition easy. Yeah, great, great. So what is the importance of smoke alarm servicing and, and how would you say this process has been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic? So the importance of smoke alarm servicing um, at the moment and then going forward is going, it's only going to get tougher, I think. Yeah. Um, at the moment, the importance of it is that there is legislation around smoke alarm servicing to maintain a working and effective smoke alarm. Yeah. At the end of the day, the reason that it's getting tougher is because people keep dying in fires. Yeah. Um, so it does get harder and harder and it makes sense that each time something horrific happens, uh, the coroner in the local state will review this and say, how can we save more people? So I think a short answer to your question is that the importance of servicing smoke alarms is to make sure that tenants are safe yeah. in an investment property. And it's understanding that an investment property is a business. It is mm. why you use an agent to manage your business because there's actually a lot of legislation around it. Yeah. So failing to cover your duty of care under the legislation, which is to make sure that the smoke alarms are working and effective, and then also tested and inspected with regularity because things can happen, yeah. um, is really, really important. And it safeguards everyone. It safeguards the investment, it safeguards the agency, but it also safeguards human life. Yeah, definitely. So it's a win-win for all parties involved. Absolutely it is, yeah. 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 So, so I guess my... COVID, Sorry, no, no, no. my apologies. With COVID, um, yeah. one of the things that we had a great challenge with immediately was that suddenly there were a lot more people at home, a lot yeah. more people working at home. They yeah. were going to maybe try their hand at cooking. <laughs> the heat yeah, yeah. was going on as winter occurs, and even the fire brigade will say that there's a greater chance of fires during the winter period because of heating going on. So the challenge for us was how do we maintain our duty of care to our agencies, which is to get out there, get into properties, um, and make sure that their properties are compliant during such a challenge as a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And we really had to change focus. It was like moving a cruise ship as fast as we could um, yeah, yeah. to accommodate how do we best approach um, people's tenants. So we engaged very quickly with all of our agents, mm -hmm. um, asked them what was going to be best for them. And we have thousands of agents on our books. So it was a yeah. real process and all hands on deck. Um, yeah. So it was quite lucky a lot of us were also at home in front of our computers to assist yeah, with yeah, that. Definitely. And um, a lot of it became personal contact one on one with each tenant. And um, some certainly had issues that meant that they didn't want us to attend, but for the most part, once they were assured that our technicians and electricians were wearing full COVID suits and that they were actually discarding everything, every single visit to every single house as they moved on, um, that assurance gave them that security and, and it sort of ticked along. Yeah. So we had a two week period in there where it was a lot of just explaining to people and assuring them and then mm. we continued on, but yeah. It was a challenge yeah. and we came through all together quite well, I think. So. Yeah. No, I'm glad to hear that you've, you know, overcome those challenges. It's you know, I think it's just, like you said, a matter of communication and, and just reassurance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And it maintained an essential service status unofficially where it was recognised in other states that actually yeah. this is something that, you know, should there be a fire during this period, who's liable? So um, we adopted that, okay, well, let's continue um, with that educational field. Uh, and yeah. advise our agents that whilst there wasn't any clarity around it in Victoria, what was going to be the most likely outcome. And nobody wants anyone to have 
any come to any harm. So yeah. um, we forged ahead. We worked with every individual agency in many, many individual requested ways. And um, I'm quite proud of our company, the way we all came together to accommodate that because yeah. it was a huge effort at the time. And, yeah, um, definitely. We've proven we can do it again. So, yeah. yeah. No, that's great. Great to hear. So I guess my final question would be, what competitive edge would you say smoke alarm solutions have in comparison to other providers of residential smoke alarm services? Sure. So I think, as I mentioned before, we are one of the largest, and I would have to say most professional smoke alarm service providers in Australia. Yeah. Um, you could say that a company doesn't reach this level of recognition unless they're doing something right. Yeah. Um, our competitive edge, I think, has to include multiple areas, both internally as a company, but also externally as a provider in each market. So yeah. first and foremost, um, it is our aim to save lives from fires. Um, the product itself is a no-brainer. We, we've kept our product simple with a very single um, annual fee. For $99 inclusive per year, we look after each rental property, providing as many visits as required for compliance, um, back to the address as required, and it also includes and covers free alarms as required for compliance. Um, we track details like when alarms are due to expire, and we return to the property to replace these for free under this plan. So yeah. um, I think I mentioned too, additional to this, we have a 24 seven coverage for sounding alarms. Yeah. But that covers a large area of Melbourne. So if you think of 2 a.m. on Christmas morning, the alarm is going off, the tenant is distressed, we yeah. have staff ready to attend at no extra charge. And this is a huge benefit yeah. to landlords to resolve one, the issue immediately, but also not to have to pay a huge electrician fee out of ours as well. Yeah, um, the product itself is a tax write-off, so to cover the safety of tenants, the legislation, make sure that in the case of a fire, all those relevant boxes have been ticked. It makes sense to pass it on to a provider like us with an excellent track record. Mm. Um, and I, I've mentioned to our solutions portal here, um, the introduction of that, um, which is really a window into the information that we hold for every one of our agents. Um, and the introduction of this to our agencies was one of the best transitions of technology I've personally been a part of. And I'm really proud of that. Um, yeah. We had such a large number of agencies to accommodate that we really had to get it right the first time. And, and absolutely we did. It was quite a smooth transition. So um, as I mentioned, it offers all of our agents a window into all of the information that we hold for them. And it tracks work orders from entry through to compliance, which agents love because they can see where each property is and the process yeah. of being tendered. But it also enables agents to change tenant information, update and edit details directly. I mean, they just have more control and immediate access to information. So, yeah, it's been a real game changer in the industry. And I know, because I've seen it, it is the very best on the market. Yeah. So I would say those are the points of difference that we would offer. Um, finishing up with that thought, I also have a webinar that I'm about to launch. We've been doing this in other states with great success. Um, yeah. It's not something we're really focused on in Victoria or needed to, but with the reforms change and COVID, we feel like it's the perfect time to invite our agents to then on invite their landlords to engage with us and cover the reforms, what to expect in advance of the date. So we're not saying they have to do anything yet, but they've got a little bit of time to ease into the knowledge and education around what's coming, um, yeah. whilst offering a solution. And so just gently padding our way into what is going to be required and how it, it, it's what's necessary and then the outcome overall. And we feel that that's a real value add for all of our agencies because we don't expect them to have every single answer for every question yeah. that they have. <clears throat> They've got a, a huge amount to do and we are one portion of the requirements for them. So we feel that this is, um, it has certainly been very well received um, and we'll be offering that over the next couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, so sounds great. <laughs> sounds great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Bonnie. Um, you know, it was great chatting with you and, and gaining that insight. 
So all our viewers, please tune in next time as we sit down and chat with property managers from our New South Wales and Queensland branches. In the meantime, please take care of yourselves. Bonnie, again, it was a pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay.